we're gonna let the whole world know exactly who we're swimming for. Just had a smile on my face the whole time. Most powerful moment I've ever been a part of in swimming. Just tremendous appreciation for the love that this team showed me and Ben and each other. Drive from your core. Any swimmer will tell you. Good guys, good. Every good team has one thing in common. The family environment. And any parent will tell you. Like older siblings in a lot of ways. You played that role. Family works best like a team. Everybody is expected to come in and change the team for the better. Non-resisted swimming, make sure you University know of Tennessee that. head Lions. swim coach Matt Kreditch has built a life deep in both team All right, get swim moving. and family. Let's get this week started with some speed. There is family and there is work. And some people don't really have much of an opportunity to, to bring the family to work or to bring work to the family. He and his wife, Kim, raising their three boys on the pool deck, surrounded for years by Tennessee swimmers. You didn't really have to discipline so much because yeah. they kind of saw things through, um, you know, college age uh, triumphs and a few tribulations. Uh, but we were always really honest with them. Each of the boys finding their own lane in the sport. Coleman, a star at Duke, Miles, an NAIA champion, and his twin brother, Ben, a member of the Vols Swim Club. They saw that it was such a good thing from the people that they grew up around that I'm not sure that they ever doubted that it was for them. Ben's love of the water and for the UT swim team came when he was young, not long after he was diagnosed with autism. He had a, a way of looking at the world that was really different from anybody I've ever known. Uh, hey, Dad, I would like a lap counter. And what he appreciated, music, color, um, the smallest things that were a little bit odd that could make him laugh. He cared what other people thought, and he, he, those relationships were not only important to him, they were kind of everything. And so he, he was, um, always in search of connection with somebody. I love you too, like, um, this needs to be tuned too. I love you tuning. I love you tuning, uh. And we were so incredibly blessed to be his parents and his, his brother and his to sh just share the time on earth with him. Thank you all so much for coming out this afternoon. Ben was killed while walking on the sidewalk of Kingston Pike. Police say the 24 year old was hit by an impaired driver who was revived by Narcan just an hour before overdosing again behind the wheel. wondering what I could have done to, to change the outcome. And wondering, feeling like I had failed to protect him. Like the, and then still feeling in my body that the trauma of my son, who I feel like is a part of me, um, meeting such a violent death. Ben died August 21st. The same week UT students came to campus to start the fall semester. The same week, the swim team started practice for a new season. That trauma left me really incapable of doing anything from a leadership position. Swimming is often measured in minutes and seconds. Like a painful race, hard days in life slow that time down. I had a difficult time thinking about anything other than, than Ben. The courage to get back up on the starting block would take the strength of the team. I still would come to the pool deck and even though I 
couldn't really put many thoughts together about swimming. I got this feeling of being buoyed up by the energy and the life and the excitement that people on this team brought. And just like the team, in order to float, all that was needed was water. It brought us together as early as possible and that never wavered. Ben's twin Miles designed swim caps, a reminder of what they'd lost and who they were swimming for, all the way up to championship season. Well, that was, uh, that was a night I'll never forget. We took championship season and we let Ben be with us. This one was gonna be in honor of Ben and the Sharpies came out and, <laughs> and everyone had a, a mark of Ben on them. You could feel it and you could clearly see it. All the kids wrote Ben on their chest and Ben on their back. We had been on our caps, Ben was everywhere. Everybody knew in the room except Matt. Everybody knew that we were gonna honor Ben except Matt. Turning the tragedy of loss into triumph in the pool. And I just sat back and watched the performances unfold. And it was, it was spectacular. I just, just had a smile on my face the whole time earning 28 medals at SEC championships and the best men's and women's NCAA championship finish in program history. They could make that part of their performance as well in, in his honor, but really his, yeah, it felt like he was, every, it still does. It feels like he's everywhere. But for that to be on display and uh, just <laughs> was, so heartening all the way through the season. To see on the outside, the power of love for team, for family, on the inside. And I think gave us um, this ability to experience maybe a level of joy and, and, uh, and beauty that we, that we're not really tuned into in a more ordinary year. In Knoxville, Brittany Tarwater, WVLT News.